Hey guys, welcome back. So what I've done is I've created a folder on my desktop called calorie underscore app. So what I'm going to do is in my VS code, I'm going to just drag and drop it within my VS code. Or alternatively, what you can do is uh, you can go to file, add folder to workspace, then click on uh, the calorie app. And click OK. Right. Uh, now, first thing is before we begin, we have to make sure that you've installed Python. Python that's well and good. But if you haven't, then uh, you can go to python.org and uh, download it. Okay. So I'm using a Mac. Right. So I have a, a version that's for Windows, but uh, for Mac. But for Windows, you have uh, stable releases. You can go ahead and download this Python uh, 3.10. Also, the Visual Studio code, uh, the code editor that I'm using is available on code.visualstudio.com. You can go ahead and download it. Uh, if you're using something else like Atom or Sublime, that's fine as well. All right. So what I'm going to do is uh, let me maximize this window. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to open a command prompt on uh, Visual Studio code. But if you are using the normal terminal on your Windows or Mac, that's fine as well. But uh, this gives me that uh, flexibility to use the command prompt or the terminal from my IDE itself. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do right now is I'm going to install a virtual environment. So a virtual environment uh, is something that is a project specific. So if, for example, if I do pip freeze, then these are the plugins that are installed on my computer. All right, and we don't need all this. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to create a virtual environment and install the required plugins inside that virtual environment so that I don't uh, use all these other plugins. So it's just going to get bloated if I use uh, the normal directory. All right, so I'm going to use uh, something called uh, virtual environment. All right, so the command for that is Python dot slash m sorry dash m uh, v e n v and then slash v e n v all right so uh, i have this in my code snippet so it's not that i uh, know that by heart or something uh it's uh then my code snippet and i'm just looking at it and typing it in so it's okay if you don't know something all right uh you can have it as snippets on your computer all right, now if somebody is using Windows, then you'll have to follow this instruction here in, on docs.python.org. Uh, just Google for uh, Python virtual environment. All right, then the first link is that uh, the one which contains all the details. All right, so you can follow this to install this on your uh, Windows system. All right, so I've added in the command here and I'm just going to click enter. All right, so if you can see here, uh, there's a VNV folder that has been created inside my Calorie app. All right, so we need to work inside this environment. All right, so we need to activate this virtual server or virtual environment. All right, so what I'm going to say is source uh, VNV slash bin slash activate. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to activate this virtual environment for this project. So the path for that is source, VENV, VENV, bin, and activate. So that's what it's going to do. It's going to actually activate my virtual environment. Now, if you look at it, I clicked enter, and if you look at it, I'm inside my virtual environment now. It says VENV and base. But if you look uh, the command previously, it says base. All right, so right now we are in the virtual environment, which is good. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to install Django within this virtual environment. I'm going to say uh, pip install Django. Give it some time. Okay. All right, so we have Django installed now. And if you uh, look at our folder structure, okay, still the same, nothing has changed but it will right now because we're going to create a project. All right, so this Django has been created inside the virtual environment. 
all right now let's create a django uh, project all right so this is the main uh, project for an entire app it's going to have all the settings within it we'll have a look once we uh, start it up so django dash admin then start project and uh, we have to give the name of the app uh, name of the project so i'm going to say 2d and then i'm going to hit space not enter hit space let's dot and then enter so what this is going to do is it's good this is going to create a foodie folder with all the settings within this calorie app folder all right so it'll be directly accessible uh, to the virtual environment as well as the uh, virtual environment settings so i'm gonna click set uh, press enter so there you have it uh, we have a manager py file and we have a foodie folder and it's got the project settings in it which we'll tweak in a bit all right all right so now since we have created a foodie uh, project we need to create an app right so an app and projects are two different things so uh, and every component inside the project can have different apps all right and it's linked to this particular uh, project Okay, apps are linked to projects is that what you need to understand all right so uh, what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna say django admin start app remember not start project start app and i'm gonna call this counter and press enter all right now if you look at it uh, we have an app called as counter it's got its own files views.py test.py models.py app apps.py etc all right and uh, it's quite different from uh, the foodie folder because foodie is a project and counter is an app okay all right so uh, we're almost there uh, there are a few more settings that we need to do okay so uh, let's uh, since we have created this app it needs to be registered within the uh, project settings all right so i'm going to open my uh, foodie folder and under the foodie folder there is a file settings.py all right i'm going to click on that and then i'm going to scroll down to a place called install apps on line number 39 on my file i'm just going to press enter for this comma i'm going to type in counter all right so basically uh, why are we doing this is because django does not know that an app exists all right uh, so you need to tell django that there is a certain folder called as uh, app within the system directory here within the calorie app and uh, we need to keep accessing it and it needs to register itself within the installed apps all right so yes uh, we have created an app called counter all right we're going to save this all right uh, next thing is that we have to go to the URL section. Have a look at it. All right. So uh, before we do anything in the URL section, what I want to do is I want to copy this. Control C. All right. So I'm within my hoodie folder in the URLs.py. Okay. I've copied this up. I'm going to go to my counter section here and create a new file called urls.py all right then i'm going to paste this here and i'm going to chop this off it says from django.contrib import admin delete that all right and i'm going to delete this as well All right, uh, so the next thing is what we're going to do is uh, we're going to leave this as it is. I'm going to save this file. All right, uh, I'm going to go to uh, views.py. All right, so uh, on views.py, it says uh, from django.shortcuts import render, which is good. That's what we want. So here I want to create a function in Python. All right, uh, so I'm going to say def home and the parameter is going to be request all right colon 
and then I want to return render request all right and I want to request for home dot HTML all right so uh, it's important that you pass this parameter within this so what I'm saying is hey when you hit home uh, and uh, whatever the uh, results within the functions are and after that you I have to go and fetch this file called home.html so that's what it's saying right now all right so uh, let's go to uh, urls.py all right and uh, here we have to say uh we're just gonna open uh open to uh, commas not commas what, what do we call that we open to quotes all right uh and uh, we're gonna say views uh, dot home comma name is equal to open codes home all right now as you can see that there is an error here because uh, for the, we, for this to be rectified we need to import the views uh into the url folder all right so what i'm going to do is from dot all right space don't forget the space we go r t v i e w s all right so that error is gone now so basically what i'm saying to django is uh, bro listen from the global scope of counter all right uh, import uh, the views.py file all right so it's going to look for this particular views.py from uh, this global folder so here it is i'm going to save this and next what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a folder called within the counter folder i'm going to create another folder called templates all right and within this template i'm going to create a new file and i'm going to name that home.ht right so what i did was i went to counter all right clicked on a new folder within that counter folder created a new folder called templates and within that i created home.html all right now uh, just for testing purposes i'm going to say hello world h1 it's not going to run anyways uh, because we need to uh, add a few more settings all right so we're almost there all right so it's just like you know before you prepare the dish you need to keep the ingredients ready so that's what we're doing right now uh, let's go to settings uh, not settings uh, let's go to uh, let's go to urls.py under foodie under the main project all right and here we need to do uh, something else so after this comma here all right, type in path open quotes all right leave that blank for now and then i want to include i'm going to type in include counter urls all right and i we need to wrap this in quotes Now, if you can see it still uh, is showing me an error because it does not know what include is because we have to import that uh, from django itself so after path here put comma include all right all right so there are no errors here if there was django would have already told us so <clears throat> let's go and start a server to start a server we need to uh, in the command terminal uh, just put in python manage.py run server all right so it started it's a server on uh, port 8000 i'm just going to copy this control c all right let's see if this works i'll come here v yes so all is good and uh, if you have done everything right then we'll, we're going to see hello world here and if there was a problem 
then uh, Django would have definitely thrown up an error. For example, let's say uh, he did not add a quote here. Okay. And um, let's say uh, we did something, something like this. doesn't allow you you know that's the beauty of Django it does not allow you uh, errors right away uh, in the sense uh, it keeps checking your files whether you have done something wrong and that's that's a that's a good thing actually because uh, you avoid doing a lot of errors on the uh, production or development environment right so yeah so yeah we have created a project uh, all our settings are good all right so uh, if you haven't understood anything, uh, I, I suggest that you uh, have a look at the tutorial again from where we have set the project up. All right, it's quite easy. I mean, for a beginner, if you're uh, a beginner in Django or Python and uh, you know, setting up a project itself is a, a separate task by itself. A lot of people find it very frustrating and confusing to set up a project. It's actually quite easy if you do it a couple of times. Uh, so basically what I do, uh, to understand uh, setting up a project is I have uh, snippets with me which I keep it handy all the time when I work on something like Django and uh, when I start a project I go through that snippet and see what changes I need to do all right so that's how we remember these things uh, it's impossible to remember everything uh, even for a developer because uh, there's so much to learn and there's so much to do and every day is a new learning all right so even if you don't get it at first don't worry it's normal it's quite natural all right uh, because our brains are not that big to hold so much information we only need uh, what we can use all right for us everything there are snippets all right so i'm going to pause this video here and the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add in a html template uh, inside django and we're going to make that work all right i'll see you there